Hi everyone, my name is Khoa Trang. I'm a member of team number 10. Today we're gonna talk about the case analysis, especially evergreen natural markets. Now I'm gonna talk about the background and its business overview. Firstly, the father was Donald Slater. He did his first business in 1966. The headquarters was in Boulder, Colorado. Further, the Evergreen Natural Market was the leading independent food retailer in the Rocky Mountain West. Further, the store featured government, natural and organic products, competitive prices, and high quality service. In 2004, they opened the two distribution center, which gave them many benefits, such as reduction in in-store inventory. Therefore, in 2011, 23 stores in 19 locations in three states gave him the total revenue of $175 million and the net income of $4.3 million. Now we move to the next slide. His success comes from this point. Firstly, they don't have their own private brand name. Secondly, they operate based on the Evergreen Way method. My friend Emira will talk more about this. The thirdly is they create a good relationship with employee. Further, they give the attractive bonus to motivate the employee to work harder for them. And regarding to the customer, they focus on their need and especially with the callous and the handicapped people. Finally, significant investment in IT gives them the excellent control process system. Now my friend Priyak will talk more about this case. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Priyang Rathod and I'm going to talk about the statistics and facts of the evergreen market. First, target market. They target the health-oriented individuals. Second, the competitor of Evergreen company are the Walmart, Trader, uh, Trader Joe, and the whole food market. Now we talk about some statistics of the company. Here we go. They have 3% same store sale increase. Sales per square foot increased by 20%, which means Evergreen acquired some company last year, and compared to that, the sale has increased by 20%. That's really great. Third point. We talk about the distribution process of the company, which is they have the centralized uh, distribution process, which help them to reduce the efficiency of the, uh, increase the efficiency of the company and reduce the cost of the company. Now we move to the second slide. That's uh, we can have a look at the industry at glance. So who are the competitors in the industry, and we can talk about that first. It's a whole food market. They have the bigger margin than uh, Evergreen company has, and secondly, they have a, fa a faster cash cycle conversion which means that they have huge liquidity. Second competitors are the Trader Joe's, which have a, they have their own uh, label, it's called the big private label brand. And the third is conventional super, supermarket. They, are more they have more convenient product and SKU and many more point of sales. Now we move to the third slide, that's the strength of the company. First, they have recognized the control and analytical process. They have very good control process and analytical process. Third, they believe in the quality of the product. They have the very good quality in the product. Uh, third, established and proven procedure for acquisition. They have got, uh, become the mastery in the acquisition process. And the last but not the least, they have centralized and local management process which help them to have a very good distribution process of the company. Yeah. Now I'd like, uh, like to Afonso to continue with the short analysis of the company. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Feng Ru Liu. Let's talk about some widening opportunity and theater for Evergreen. With the economic development, the quality of, cost, uh, of life for customers has been changed. The overall for customers' attitude from affordable to personality shopping. Based on this change, the Evergreen's goods significant has become a big weakness. And today's business is respect to uh, integration of resource. Um, so the Evergreen does not have their private labor brand. So it is mean they must depend on the local suppliers. And then with the uh, 
rapid development of large market, the retailer store will face uh, in increasingly competitive pressures. And the other hand, uh, the type of goods sold by supermarket are mostly similar. So, uh, to uh, re res to respond these pressures, they must to find some solutions. First, they need to uh, develop the broader market, and then they need to uh, they need to focus on development of their own characteristic is in order to improve their uh, competitiveness. And then they also need to uh, continue to expand. Uh, as with all of the business, the Evergreen also face a lot uh, with a lot of same industrial to com uh, competitions, such as the whole food market and Trader Joe's. Those two are very successful and famous market. So the Evergreen really has a very big pressures. And the other theaters is adaptation for acquisitions. Uh, so to face, uh, the Evergreen need to find a way how to face those two theaters. And then the uh, Amila will talk some about the Evergreen ways. Thanks so much. Hi everyone, I'm Almira and I'm going to continue with the Evergreen way, which is a unique way uh, for Evergreen kosher store because uh, I believe that this way makes them more successful and underneath their success uh, it has a huge importance. And now I'm gonna talk about the bullet points of the Evergreen way. The first is their well-being uh, of customers and employees. They think about that. They they care their customers. They care their employees. For example, for them for their employees, there are bonuses if they achieve something good. And for their customers, they uh, give um, delivery if they don't have car, if they're handicapped, or etc. And the second one is knowledge-based continuous learning. They have train trainings. They train their employees uh, all the time uh, with knowledge base. And uh, there is another bullet point, it's keep local things local, which means they have a local management. So they manage locally. And the third, uh, fourth one is in incentives and bonuses. As I mentioned in the first one, uh, they give bonuses to their employees if they achieve something, so which make them more, uh, they feel better and they want to work better. And uh, last one is quarterly retreat, which means again about the employees. They make them to go to trips and have fun for uh, sometimes, and they feel relaxed. And when they come back, they have a better uh, work. Hi everyone. So after analyzing and discussing the case for a while, by uh, as a team, we came up with two problem issues. The first one of them has to do with expansion. This is the first time that the Evergreen is growing outside the Rocky Mountain, and some believe, even their CFO and their CTO have some doubts as to it can be successful. Uh, they think that they might be outgrowing their own potential. The other one has to do with acquisition. It's the first time that they acquired more than one store at a time. So this will face a challenge for the Evergreen way and the implementation. It will have a rise in the costs in the first few months. And can you we identified several risk factors that have to do with the problem. The first one of them is that Arugula and Evergreen both have very different and contrasting type of management and hierarchies. It's a radical change in, in Evergreen's previous acquisition strategy as they had always acquired one store by one and always in the same Rocky Mountain region. And the new demographics will obviously represent a challenge for them in distribution, cost, transportation, and they have several things to still to take into account as to how will they manage. We identified two alternatives. I will present the first one and my uh, Alessandro will be, will be presenting the next one. The first alternative could be that Arugula and Evergreen 
even though they are part of, of the same company, they stay as independent business units with independent managements. It has the advantages of it would require minimal exchange of organizational process and it's a more cost effective method maybe on the short term. The disadvantages is that it would create multiple business units and it, it would, the evergreen grant as, it, as itself would not continue to grow. Now Alessandro with the, uh, with the other solution and the implementation and recommendation. Hi everyone, I'm Alessandro and I will talk about the second alternative solution. Uh, here we, we see that Arugula must restructure the, to becoming a unique business entity with uh, Evergreen. Uh, so uh, there are some advantages and some uh, challenges to, to view. Starting from the advantages, we are focused on the uh, uh, centralized system of control, so um, a change in uh, Arugula um, management structure. Uh, second one, uh, we uh, focus on the expansion of, ever, of the Evergreen brand uh, in comparison to the previous uh, uh, zones. And uh, finally, uh, potential for great income and more uh, customer attraction. Uh, on the opposite side, we have the challenges. Uh, and firstly, we start from uh, require a change of uh, mentality for our Google managers. Uh, second one, we found a data collection for knowledge management, so uh, a very big collection for improved management knowledge. And uh, finally, um, a restructure of organizational hierarchic of uh, our Google um, firm. Now we move to the, the, the next slide. Uh, where we talk about the multi-attribute chart um, get that give us a brief summary and an overview about the alternatives and uh, criteria to better understand uh, uh, the case analysis and its uh, uh, issues. Uh, starting from the step one, we just uh, found a list of criteria on one axis and uh, our two alternatives in the other axis. Uh, step two, we assign um, a weight for each criteria that go from 0 to 0 0.5 with a maximum of 1. Um, it's reflecting the relative importance on the uh, final decision. Step three, uh, after taking a, a review of the analysis, uh, we uh, rate each alternative with a point from 1 to 5. And 1 is representing a very poor level and 5 representing a very good level. Finally, step step four, uh, we multiply the weight of each criteria for the corresponding uh, alternative rating. And uh, it's important here to underline uh, how the results is quite similar. Uh, and um, for us, there is not a unique, uh, perfect and clear solution about the case. But um, to, uh, we have to um, implement and uh, give more addition to the strategy to become successful. Uh, next slide and final slide, uh, we just uh, figure out some implementation uh, to the strategy and some recommendation. Uh, starting from to convert Arugula to a flex structure hierarchy, so changes is a uh, management structure from the previous one. Second point, get key information about Arugula stories and sales uh, to implement evergreen uh, management uh, uh, control and knowledge. Third point, determine the human resources necessity and so go toward the employee's necessity. Fourth point, create a professional and work um, relationship with the past Arugula uh, uh, managers and employees to um, get a, a strong connection with them. Final point, uh, continue to expand the Evergreen way uh, for new stories. That's all. Uh, thank you for watching and supporting them.